Hello and welcome to LSJ News. I'm James Williams. And I'm Louise Brooks. And we are live from Sinsel Bank as Lincoln City make history and reach the third round of the FA Cup. Lincoln City fans are celebrating after reaching the third round of the FA Cup. The Imps beat Oldham 3-2 here at Sinsel Bank last night to make the, first round, the third round for the first time in seven years. With the story of yesterday evening's events, here's Kieran Hymas. Well, Lincoln City now travel to Ipswich Town in the third round. That tie will be at the start of January, and that's away, so that'll be at Portman Road. Kieran, well, you were here last night. An, an amazing night for, in many ways for Lincoln City fans. See, that tie will take place in January. We'll be back at Sinsel Bank later, hopefully talking to John Vickers, the general manager. But for now, back to Elliot Hawkins in the studio with the rest of the day's headlines. Obviously. We're still discussing Lincoln City's amazing victory against League One side Oldham yesterday evening. I'm delighted to say joining me now is John Vickers, general manager at Lincoln City. Well, John, where to start? What an amazing evening it was. A oh, fantastic evening for everybody associated with the football club. We'll be back again next week. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Goodbye. Well, it's the calm after last night's storm here, Louise. This time, just over 12 hours ago, all the Lincoln City fans were out here celebrating a historic result. It's the first time in seven years that the Imps have reached the third round of the FA Cup. Let's take a look back at last night's action. Well, obviously, as you'd expect, the Lincoln City manager, Danny Cowley, was delighted with the result. Let's hear from him now. Well, the draw actually took place at BT Towers before last night's match. And so Lincoln knew going into the match that they would travel to Ipswich in the next round if they won. Which, of course, we now know that they did win the match. So they will play Ipswich in January at Portman Road. Ipswich, well, they're vying for a playoff place in the championship at the moment. And Danny Cowley knows that they will be a tough test for his side. But as we've seen with Lincoln so far in this cup run, they tend to defy the odds. Back to you, Louise. Well, I'm actually standing on what was the St Giles Youth Centre. As you can see, demolition work is continuing behind me with the diggers and the skip. It's been going on yesterday and today, and it will continue into this afternoon. The centre was used for various things. It was used for meetings, it was used for youth clubs, it was used for local football teams. I know a local football team, Lincoln EST under 11s, they had lots of football equipment here that they, you know, was destroyed in the fire. Lots of different local community organisations and Lincoln City Football Club have been helping the, uh, the people affected by this and especially that, that under 11s football team. I know that uh, some of the that team were at Sinsel Bank on Saturday for Lincoln City's match against Eastleigh and they were, I think they met manager Danny Cowley and they met some of the players and they were given Lincoln City shirts and I think the club have also replaced some football equipment that was damaged in this fire so the community are gathering together to help out in this situation.